Lazy eights. Starting position, lying on your back, knees up, feet down, and feet spaced widely enough that you feel some pressure at your hip joints. Arms back, lying on the surface, elbows in line with your shoulders bent to 90 degrees. If necessary for comfort, place pillows under your forearms and or head. The key to this movement is that the soles of your feet make even contact with the surface front to back. Check your feet from time to time. I'll now describe the movements to you. Imagine what I'm describing in yourself. I'll then repeat and you do the movements. To begin, just imagine. You press down with the shallower side foot with about the strength of a yawn to cause its hip to lift. Down is against the surface on which you're lying toward the earth. You take a bit of weight off the opposite foot. You lower the lifted hip. You press down with the opposite foot as you lower. Now do the movement by pressing down with the shallower side foot with about the strength of a yawn cause its hip to lift. Slowly lower that hip. Come to complete rest. Again, by pressing down with the foot, cause its hip to lift. Take a bit of weight off the opposite foot. Feel what that does. Slowly lower the lifted hip, pressing down with the opposite foot. Come to complete rest. Again, by pressing down with the foot, cause its hip to lift. Check that your foot pressure is even front to back. Now lower the lifted hip. Press down with the opposite foot as you lower. This time, you just imagine. By pressing down with the foot, with about the strength of a yawn, cause its hip to lift. You take a bit of weight off the opposite foot. You slowly lower the lifted hip, pressing down with the opposite foot. Now do the movement at your own speed a few times until I return. Complete what you're doing. This next movement is a similar action with the shoulders. This time, just imagine. You press down with the shallower side shoulder and forearm with about the strength of a yawn. Imagine feeling your chest lift on that side. Turn your face to the side of the pressing down shoulder. Imagine lifting the opposite elbow slightly. Imagine relaxing. Imagine feeling your chest sink and turning your face to front and center. Now do the movements. Press down on the shallower side shoulder and forearm. And hold. Feel your shoulder pull back and your chest lift a bit. Slowly relax. Feel your chest sink. Come to complete rest. Again, the arm and shoulder press down and hold. Feel the chest lift a bit. Turn your face and eyes all the way to the shoulder side. Slowly relax and turn your face to front and center.
come to complete rest. Again, press down the arm and shoulder. Turn your eyes and face together to the shoulder side. Lift the opposite elbow slightly. Slowly relax. Feel your chest sink. Return your face to front and center. Come to complete rest. Again, press One. down with arm and shoulder. Turn your face. Lift the elbow. Slowly relax. Return your face to front and center. Relax completely. Now imagine the movement only. You press down on one arm and shoulder and hold. Imagine feeling your chest lift a bit. Imagine turning your face, lifting the opposite elbow, slowly relaxing, chest sinking, returning face to front and center. Now do the movement by yourself at your own speed a few times until I return. Complete what you're doing. And come to complete rest. Now we combine the two movements you've just rehearsed. This time just imagine the shallower side. Imagine pressing the foot. Imagine lifting your hip. Imagine pressing down with the same side shoulder and holding. Imagine lifting the elbow slightly. The hip downside, imagine squeezing the leg in and holding. Imagine equalizing efforts at the groin of the squeezing leg and the back of the pressing down shoulder. When you've equalized the efforts, you'll feel certain tensions in your back shift. You slowly relax all efforts, keeping them equal. Your hip comes down. Now do the movements. Lift one hip and hold. Press down the same side shoulder and hold. Squeeze the opposite leg in and hold. Equalize the efforts at the groin of the squeezing in leg and the back of the pressing down shoulder. Slowly relax all efforts, continuing to keep your efforts equal. Your hip comes down. Again, lift one hip and hold. Press down the same side arm and shoulder and hold. Feel how pressing down with the shoulder helps the hip lift. Squeeze the opposite leg in and hold. Feel it at the groin. Equalize the efforts at the groin and back of the pressing down shoulder. Slowly relax all efforts, keeping the efforts equal. Again, lift one hip and hold. Press down with the same side shoulder and hold. Lift the opposite elbow slightly. Feel it help the overall movement. Squeeze the hip down leg in and hold. Equalize all efforts. Slowly relax all efforts, keeping them equal. Your hip comes down. Again, lift one hip and hold. Press down with the same side shoulder and hold. Lift the opposite elbow. Squeeze the hip down leg in and hold. Equalize the efforts. Slowly relax. The hip comes down. Now imagine only you lift one hip and hold. You press down with the same side shoulder and hold. Feel pressing down with the shoulder help the hip lift. 
Lift the opposite elbow slightly. Feel it help the overall movement. Squeeze the hip down leg in and hold. Equalize all efforts. When you've equalized the efforts, you'll feel certain tensions in your back shift. Slowly relax all efforts. Your hip comes down. And now, by yourself, at your own speed, until I return. Complete what you're doing. Next movement. This time, just imagine. Lift one hip and hold. Feel the twist of your pelvis. You check that your foot pressure is even front to back. Press down the same side shoulder as the hip. Squeeze the opposite knee in and hold. Now keeping the twist, lift the other hip and hold. Both hips are lifted, one is higher. Feel the place in your throat behind your nose. Shift the weight to the foot of the hip. Just lift it, the lower hip. Press steadily with both elbows and shoulders. Feel the connection between arm and foot pressures. Let your back sag. The higher hip slowly lower part way. Shift the weight to that foot. Press down with the opposite shoulder. Equalize the shoulder pressure with that of the foot. Let your back sag. Slowly lower the higher hip part way. Alternate lowering hips until they're down. Now do the movements. Lift one hip and hold. Feel the twist in your pelvis. Check that your foot pressure is even front to back. Press down the same side shoulder. Squeeze the opposite knee in and hold. Lift the other hip and hold. Keep the same amount of twist. One hip is lower. Shift the weight to the foot of the hip just lifted. With your shoulders and arms, push down and brace yourself. Equalize arm and foot pressures. Let your back sag. Feel the place in your throat behind your nose. Slowly lower the higher hip part way. Shift the weight to that foot. Brace against shoulders and arms. Equalize shoulder, arm, and foot pressure. Let your back sag. Slowly lower the higher hip part way. Alternate lowering hips until both sides are down. When you understand lowering alternate hips, you may do so at your own speed instead of the speed of instruction. Again, lift one hip and hold. Feel the twist of your pelvis. Press down the same side shoulder. Squeeze the opposite knee in and hold. Lift the other hip and hold. Keep the same amount of twist. One hip is higher. Shift the weight to the foot of the hip just lifted. Brace against the opposite shoulder. Equalize arm and shoulder and foot pressures. Let your back sag. Feel the place behind your nose. Slowly lower the higher hip part way. Shift the weight to that foot. Brace against the shoulders and arms. Equalize the pressures of arms, shoulders, and feet. Slowly lower the higher hip part way. Alternate lowering until both sides are down. Now do the movement by yourself at your own speed.
complete what you're doing. And now stand. You may experience some lightheadedness. This is harmless. It is your brain adjusting muscular tensions and blood pressure. Stand tall and balanced. Relax and let it pass. Take a few steps forward and a few steps backward. When going backward, make sure your heel is fully down before taking the next backward step. This completes Lazy Eights.